Ho YouTube, the place where the comment section gets super heated. You know, last week or the week before, I did a video on why Canadians are not choosing electric vehicles. Well, it turns out I must have struck a nerve in the YouTube community because the comments were intense. Uh, the comments included, EV sales are up 220% since 2019. EV batteries are super recyclable. I, you definitely don't need public charging. You lose range over time. No, you don't, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. People were furious. And I am here for all of it. So in this video, I'm not going to address all of the concerns, but I am going to focus on EV batteries and whether or not they're recyclable or not. Because I think that is a common perception by some in the EV community that EV batteries are super recyclable, don't believe all of the hype that they're not, they definitely are. Now, before I continue, I just want to say I truly do believe that electric vehicles are actually a way of government trying to continue to regulate and over-regulate our society and everything we touch. EVs and the amount of different technologies that they'll need, not only public charging, etc., will require a ton of regulation and administration by government. And that includes not only public charging stations, um, it'll also include standardizing um, EV charging ports for vehicles, standardizing the types of batteries that EVs should be using, which I'll get to in a moment. There's going to be a lot of regulation and administration net new that is unlike internal combustion engines that electric vehicles will require. And we haven't even talked about the manufacturing of electric vehicles, making sure that they're done in uh, a, a, an environmentally friendly way, especially the battery components, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, more government administration will be required for electric vehicles. On top of which, and something that I will touch on now, but I don't have the stats to prove it, I would love to know how many people purchased an electric vehicle because of the government rebate. I don't know if that's 60%, 70%, 80%, etc. You remove the government rebate, would people choose an electric vehicle? I would be curious to know. I would also be curious to know um, if electric vehicles were the same price as an internal combustion engine vehicle, would people choose an EV? Because price seems to be another sticking point. I don't know. I don't know if there's enough statistically relevant data, but again, something I would really love to know if people would choose that. And if they wouldn't, I think we really, as as a, a country, a society, et cetera, we need to really think and talk about that. Okay, so the common question I get, or the common response I get to EVs is, their batteries are super recyclable. There's a direct correlation. Lithium ion batteries are super recyclable. Now, I'm not trying to be flippant or be a little that comment. I think it's actually um, a misperception. And so what I did for the sake of everybody watching is I went to the Toronto Public Library and I did a ton of research. On, not a ton. I did research. <laughs> and I'll link below on electric vehicle battery recycling. Now, asterisk, I am not a metallurgist. I am not an EV battery uh, technology expert. I'm not an EV expert. Just know that I am a person who has researched this topic. I would consider uh, that I've read a good amount, a fair amount of EV battery technology, and I've come to some conclusions. Okay, so the first thing we have to remember is that there are literally two, there are technically, technically three methods of recycling EV batteries. Okay, the first is pyrometallurgy. Now, again, I'm not a metallurgist, so forgive me for all the metallurgists out there. Uh, so there's pyrometallurgy, and then there's hydrometallurgy. Pyrometallurgy involves high temperature processing uh, to extract metals um, from the battery itself. So you heat, up, heat it up and you extract metals from it. Hydrometallurgy uses chemical solutions to leach metals away from the battery, which is actually more effective, but involves using strong acids, etc., and chemicals. 
And then there's actual direct recycling of batteries, which actually uh, looks to preserve the material composition and can actually be more environmentally friendly by reducing energy and chemical use. The direct recycling represents a very small fraction, to my knowledge, of all EV battery recycling. It's actually much, quote unquote, easier for it to be done through pyrometallurgy or hydrometallurgy. Okay, so there's a couple major issues with this. First, there's a variety of battery chemistries right now on the market when it comes to EVs. There's no standardized battery chemistry uh, formula or set. Forgive me, metallurgists. I know nothing about this, but there is no standard battery chemistry. Now, what does that mean? It means that a variety of different quote unquote recycling methods would need to be utilized depending on the battery chemistry. And then, of course, there's the transportation and handling of specific batteries, which pose uh, environmental risks due to the hazardous nature. Okay, so what are the challenges which, with each method? Pyrometallurgy means that, again, we are heating up the battery to remove metals from it to be used again. In doing so, this actually increases the risk of releasing very toxic gases. Specifically, during the pyrometallurgical process, batteries, uh, sorry, of processing batteries, gases such as sulfur dioxide, um, which contributes to acid rain and dioxins, highly toxic for the environment, are emitted in large quantities. The actual quantity is, again, determined because we don't have enough data to, to know the actual quantity. Um, we also know that pyrometallurgy requires a lot of carbon dioxide emissions. This is interesting because it actually contributes to a higher carbon fr footprint as a, wall, as, a, as a result as well. Um, as well, higher temperatures leads to the destruction of certain valuable materials that we actually can't get from the battery as well. So while we're heating up the battery to get some metals, we're actually losing some other valuable materials in the process of the heat loss as well. Hydrometallurgy, where we're using chemicals to leach metals away from the battery, we're using very strong acids in that case, like sulfuric acid and other chemicals that can, if not properly managed, lead to environmental contamination. And then, of course, that can be leached into our wastewater as well. Now, you might be thinking that spills, et cetera, et cetera, are just fear-mongering by myself and my, my quest to, to quash the EV revolution. But the reason I bring this up is because there are major targets that G7 countries have put forward for electric vehicle adoption by 2035, which, by the way, is only 11 years away, and whether or not we believe those or not, um, the reality is there'll be way more electric vehicles on the market um, as the government keeps pushing electric vehicles onto the general public. A separate topic for another, pod, another YouTube video, but one thing I want to recognize is that means more batteries will be used and then recycled, meaning all it takes is a few spills, a few leaks, and things can really go off the rails. So what this means is a few things. As I said at the beginning of this video, I really do believe electric vehicles are the vehicle, quote unquote, for more government involvement in our lives, meaning government will need to spend tax dollars on research and development on recycling technologies for electric vehicle batteries. They'll need to also design for better recyclability and make that a kind of standard practice for autom automobile manufacturers, meaning if you want to build an EV, your battery needs to be X percent recyclable for pyrometallurgy or hydrometallurgy or uh, direct recycling. That needs to be taken into account. There needs to be regulatory and financial incentives for companies to design their batteries in that way. Because remember, most companies design their batteries to output the most amount of energy at any given time. Sure, it's fun to floor a Tesla and go zero to 60 in like a few seconds. But the but what's really at the core of that is a battery that can exert that can send that much energy to the motors in a very efficient amount of time. I don't know if developing a highly recyclable battery will still lend itself to that power diffusing diffusion. Again, someone please correct me in the comments below if I've messed any of that up, but it could be that a higher recyclable battery may not be able to deliver that power um, as much. 
And then finally, there needs to be an infrastructure to collect, sort, and transport these batteries to recycling facilities, etc. So a whole new government apparatus, administration, legislation needs to be put into place because of electric vehicles. And that right there, I think, is the crux of the point that I'm trying to make, which is governments will be more influential in your day-to-day -day life as more EVs are adopted in our societies. Governments will have more control over the supply chain issues, et cetera, et cetera. But the battery recycling will require a whole new regulatory and administrative uh, process. And I don't know if EV uh, pundits or experts or EV enthusiasts realize that more government involvement can lend itself to royally messing this up, right? So the government can put in standards for better battery recyclability, which may drive the price up even further than it already is. It may require uh, further R&D that may take years to develop. It may require further rebates for the consumer because the prices will be even more elevated. And the, and the other issue is consumers may, not, may just not choose electric vehicles, which would then put the government in a really tough position after creating this apparatus and then nobody really choosing electric vehicles. So a lot of questions remain, but I hope I answered that question about EV battery recyclability. Yes, there are methods to recycle an electric vehicle's battery. Those methods aren't exactly environmentally friendly. Pyrometallurgy, hydrometallurgy don't come without risks. There are many. Direct recycling seems to be, quote unquote, the best, but it's such a small percentage currently of all EVs that all EV batteries that are recycled. Finally, the most important point, this means more government in your daily life as a result. Entire new administration, legislation, apparatus to be created just to govern EV battery recycling. And I think that's something we as a society should really think about as more and more of us are still questioning whether or not EVs are our next vehicle purchase. Okay, I really uh, went through that at lightning speed. So feel free, leave me a message. Let me know in the comment section below. I hope I answered your questions. Keep them coming. I'd love to continue to watch EVs grow, but I don't think that they should be mandated. I do think consumers should still have that choice. And I think we should consider all the research when it comes to electric vehicles, not just clicking on the um, headlines and thinking that this is a net benefit for the environment. There are too many other factors to consider to actually make that statement. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And let me know if this answers your question on EV batteries and their recyclability.